Hey, Pack! 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 You awake? Pack! Oh, oh, my dear hamburger, I'm sure you had no actual intention of turning on those lights. Pack, did you see this box here? Look! How you doing? Pleased to meet you. Hey, what's happening? Yeah, There's hey always there. Look, greetings, creatures from space, and welcome. I am Hamburger, and these are my friends, uh, Fries, Cokes, uh, Big Mac. Everybody knows you, Hamburger. You're famous. It talks English. No, no. Listen to that accent. That's Mars. Uh, 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 thank you, Hamburger. I'll take it from here. Uh -huh. uh, marvelous weather we've been having, don't you think? You can't complain. Where is your bun, sir? Mac, is that any way to treat our visitors? Oh, we're not visitors. Uh, you're not? Oh, no, we're Chicken McNuggets, a favorite product at McDonald's. We're big, really big. Uh, people eat us up. I can't talk to these people. Welcome to the McDonald's family, Chicken McNuggets. Why, thank you. So, what are you? Wings or thighs or what? Well, we're all made from tender pieces of white and dark chicken meat. Then we're breaded and deep fried to a golden brown. Mmm, do we look good. Hey, they sound pretty good. Interesting. Well, if you guys are all made the same way, how come you all look so different? Ah, that's because we are different. We give you a choice of four special sauces, and each one of them makes us taste a little bit different. Four sauces? They got four sauces. I wonder what they could be. It's like we go through a whole personality change. Take Bobby, for example. A regular McNugget now. But one dip in that barbecue sauce and... Oh. I take on some tang. Mmm! Yahoo! Hey! Looks pretty good now, doesn't it? Yeah, great idea. Barbecue sauce. And we got the sauces that'll take you on a trip from the Wild West to the Far East. Mercado? Thank you, McNugget Scent. Sweet and sour sauce, now here to please McDonald friends. There's that hand again. It's called Godzilla. Hey, fantastic. Sweet and sour sauce. Oh, right. Barbecue sauce? Sweet and sour sauce? What else you got, McNugget? Well, I got a sauce here. That can turn old Sam into a samurai. Hot mustard sauce. Fantastic. Hot mustard. What a great idea. I love it. Barbecue sauce? Sweet and sour? Hot mustard? Gee! You said you had another one, McNugget? That's right. Honey? I was just a plain Jane. Mm. Until I took my first dip in a souffle cup filled with honey. Goodbye. I love y'all very much. Wowie, woo wow. Now, there's a puppet. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Honey, that's the thing. Amazing, McNugget. Simply amazing. Very impressive, McNugget. Four sauces from all over the world. Barbecue, sweet and sour, hot mustard, and honey. Chicken McNuggets, far out. I think we've got a winner here. Funny, I've got the very same feeling. Why, I think this is just so exciting. Don't you, Hamburger? Chicken McNuggets, on behalf of the entire staff, welcome to our family. May you soon be as famous as Big Mac himself. <laughs> Mac, you're jealous? My dear Fry, you are speaking to America's favorite lunch. That I should be jealous is, of course, absurd. I have no problem with Chicken McNuggets as a perfectly viable food product. They were developed by one of the finest chefs of Europe. They do have four exceptional sauces, and people do, in fact, seem to like them. The problem, however, with a highbrow food, such as Chicken McNuggets, is they are so difficult to prepare. Au contraire, mon père. I beg your pardon. Ain't necessarily so, daddy -o. In fact, we're just about as easy to make as fries. Is that right? Sure. Good. Then I presume you are prepared to train the crew in the various intricacies of your care and preparation? 
Indeed I am, big guy. Well, then, might I suggest you hurry, seeing as we'll be opening our doors in less time than it takes to recite my list of ingredients. Oh, my gosh. We've got to get busy. It's almost opening time. Oh, excuse me. Oh, what? Oh, I might be done. Oh, no. Hey, look out. Hey, look out. Hey, look out. Hey, look out. Hey, wait a minute, everybody. Matt's right. We don't know how to cook McNuggets. He's right. What are we going to do? Oh, I don't know. It, it's such a fancy meal. It, it'll take days to learn how to make them. Not to worry. Chicken McNuggets are easy to make. As simple as fries. And besides, I've lined up the world's greatest trainer to help us out. Coach? Who's yeah. that? Hey, Look alive. Shake a leg. Let's have that blackboard. Sit down, shut up, and listen up good. Coke? What's that? Gum in your mouth? Ten laps. Let's move it. Next guy talks. Fifty sit-ups. Today's topic. Preparing chicken McNuggets. Any questions? Uh, a coach? No talking. First subject. Handling. Please handle us with care. We come to your store frozen, and if you throw us around in our cases, we could break into pieces and or lose our precious breading. And that would force me to get tough. Next subject, delivery checkout. Crew people check exterior damage to the cases before the cases are stored. Management checks inside the cases for correct temperature and weight, for excessive breakage of the pieces, for breading loss, frost, and for pieces that are stuck together, which indicates we have been thawed and refrozen. Next, storage. We chicken McNugget types belong in the walk-in freezer with the fillet portions, away from the freezer door and away from the evaporator. We're stored in stacks no more than five high and on skids to allow the air to circulate beneath us with two inches of airspace between the stack and the wall. The oldest delivery should be used first. Any questions? Uh, uh where do we store the sauces? The sauces are delivered in pre-packaged sauce cups and are stored in the stock room at room temperature. And that's it for storage. Next subject, setup procedures. First, turn on the chicken McNugget holding cabinet one hour before you're ready to use it. It needs time to heat up. Second, check the fryer temperature. It should be 360 degrees. Third, Check the cooking computer to make sure the power's turned on. It will make automatic computerized timing adjustments for different sized McNugget loads. It has an automatic duty timer that tells you when to shake the basket. And it is also the signal to drop the next basket when you are in the drop-pull mode of production. How about that, huh? If they make it any easier, you guys are gonna really get flabby. Okay, total cooking time. About four minutes and 15 seconds. Hamburger, how long does it take to cook chicken McNuggets? Uh, four minutes, 15 seconds, sir. Right. <laughs> now, the duty timer is going to go off in the middle of the cooking time to remind you to shake that basket so we won't go sticking together. 